Right, welcome here, Punch Out Boxing. Delighted to be here with Nina Hughes, my first world champ. You know I'm never going to be calling you that. Nina, <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Um, and a lot's happened beginning of this year. So 2023, a bit of a frustrating end. Things didn't happen. And uh, this year, loads yeah. of changes in management, promotions, and you finally got a massive fight. But if you could start there, yeah. Can you just tell us a bit about the change of management and this uh, deal that's got you signed with Lou DiBella? Yeah, um, obviously, our last box last June, uh, defending my title. I was just expecting a busy year, but lots of fights tried to be made, but didn't get made um fell through obviously two fights with Shannon don't know Shannon was off in the fight a few times Matt Hume only wanted the big fights with um Ebony and Shannon um they couldn't materialize so yeah um changed managers now signed a deal with Lou Bella and yeah got myself a big fight yeah you're with uh Leon's takeover management uh he's got a couple of the the new lads in your gym uh the Oliphant twins I know uh yeah Tell us how that came about. Did you know Leon already? or? Yeah, I knew Leon already from the gym anyway. Um, yeah, he'd been helping me behind the scenes with other stuff, um, with sponsorship and stuff. So, um, yeah, we, we were close anyway. And, uh, yeah, it was just a natural step. Um, yeah, I, I, I think he's been really good. And, uh, yeah, I trust him and uh, we've got a good relationship. And, yeah, he, he, um, things are looking good. Yeah, um, as I'm sure everyone who follows the sport has seen the announcement, you are on that massive show down under uh, in about three weeks in Perth. So you haven't gone yet. So I'm glad I caught you before you did. But um, no, yeah, just some three weeks, but eight weeks. Sorry, eight eight weeks. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, I'm meant to be a mathematician <laughs> as well. Yeah, but um, yeah, May, May the eleventh. Yeah. Okay, not April the 11th, yeah. the 11th. Um, yeah, just, just last year, so you, you said you you wanted, obviously, the, the fight against uh, a couple of matchrooms, uh, Golden Girls, Shannon. I know she's been in and out with injury. You must have been really disappointed with Ebony because she said she wanted a tune-up, chose uh, Maya Ishida and lost anyway. So, I mean, she might as well have just fought you for the <laughs> unification. I don't think that fight would have ever happened anyway. Everyone says she never, she never wanted that fight. So, yeah, hopefully, um, Yoshida defends her title next week, whenever that may be, and yeah, then we can make the unification. And am I right in thinking Maya Yoshida? She's also signed with Lindy Bella. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so uh... obviously my full focus is on my next fight. I can't look past that because obviously. Yeah, I'm completely focused on the next fight. It's a big fight. It's a tough fight. And, um, yeah, I've got to win it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm guessing that's part of the reason why uh, you signed with Lou Bella because he can make some of these big fights for you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he's got a lot of girls um, signed with him, all in my weight division. Um, he's got Yoshida. He's got um, uh, the IBF mandatory. Um, Char Metcalf. Um, so yeah, the, I think he's got the IBO um, the girl as well. So yeah, it's a he's got a lot of girls for me that I can box. So let's hope you're busy this year, 2024. It looks <laughs> like it's a good start. So talking of that next fight, um, you've got Shanika Johnson. We last saw her yep. here. Um, I believe it was on the same card that you last fought at Wembley. On. Yes. <laughs> a losing effort against Ellie Scottney, the division up. She did look a bit small for that division. So, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a hell of a fight for you. And I'm sure you don't need to be told. She's another really popular girl fighting on home turf. So you're going to yeah. you're gonna have to put in a d dominant performance. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I know I'm going into Lions Den, going to her home home country, home town, but yeah, I believe in myself that as long as I can I can um box as well as I can uh, do, um I'll definitely get the win. D did you watch that fight with Ellie Scottney back? Yeah, but sort of. <laughs> I've, 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 I've only the highlights are on. Um 
But yeah, we've watched. I remember watching it from the dressing room afterwards because she was on after. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was a close fight. Um, but and yeah, she's a real. She's a really good boxer. She's good talent, and um, yeah, I'm expecting a tough fight, but one I've got to win. Will you be uh, hitting up Ellie for for tips on uh, what she does and doesn't do? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But yeah, um, I mean, Shanika, when she won the title at Super Bantamweight against Susie Ramadan, she had that really bad cut open. I think yeah. the cut might have reopened uh, against Ellie. So I think it might have been another cut. Was it? Yeah. So she might that might be something she's susceptible to. Uh, if you go into yeah. full vicious mode like we know you can, um, if you get the opportunity to get her out there, out of there, that would. Uh, Probably be best. As I said, fighting in front of the home fans. You don't want to leave anything to yeah. chance. Yeah, you definitely don't want to leave anything to chance. I've just got to know that I've just got to do what I've got. I, I do best. And um, all the things that we're working on in the gym. And um, yeah, if I do them things, then I can put on a dominant display. Mm-hmm. Things uh, things must be buzzing at your gym now. What with like the Oliphant brothers there. They're two two big prospects, uh, and you're getting the usual uh, girls coming down to sparring. Guys, girl, girls like Shannon and Macy, some, yep. of, some of the other youngsters. Yeah, all the usual girls. Um, I've only really just started sparring the last couple of weeks, so um, yeah, we're just yeah working hard, very hard, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, leaving no stone unturned, and making sure I defend that belt and bring it back home again. Indeed, are you now able to train full time? Able to... No. no, still working. So still, uh, <laughs> still getting the laptop out after training. Okay. You see, you well, to... you think I only, I only get paid? I only get paid when I fight, and I have By the time I get to get in the ring, it'll be eleven months since I last boxed. Yeah, oh, almost, almost a year out. So. Oh uh, yeah, been a frustrating year, but yeah, I wouldn't like as you only get paid. I only get paid when I fight. Mm-hmm. I'll definitely need to work as well. Yeah. Ideally, I know you're obviously not looking at you know far ahead, but uh, has any discussion with the d- developer been made about like how often they can get you out? Are they talking about getting you out several times this year? Yeah, hopefully. Um, I know I want to be busy, so it's just obviously depends how the opportunities arise. Obviously, it's hard to predict the future for all of the opponents as well because things can change. Where they are as well. So, but yeah, we've took, we obviously we want unifications um, if we get past Janika. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Maya Yoshida, she's putting that great performance, uh, won a lot of ad- admirers for performance. Um, I take it you watch that fight and an all Asian duel, you know, you're of Chinese descent, she's of Japanese descent. That'd be a great fight for the Pacific. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get that. <laughs> so it'd be an entertaining fight as well yeah that, that would be a banger incidentally uh, what's happened with the uh, WBA mandatory situation so I think the winner will have to fight the mandatory uh, uh, the WBA... winner out me and Shanika will have to fight the mandatory next is there any indication as to who the mandatory will be? I'm have, not have actually some... sure. Or if someone from next was because it was someone from Cost- a, a lady um, from Costa Rica. Um, but then they've, the, when I looked last at the rankings, they've changed again. So I don't know who the mandatory would definitely be. Oh, okay. Because there, I know there was talk of Jamie have, maybe getting back in there. I'm sure. You yeah, yeah. No, then that changed. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know why. Or... I don't know how it works, to be honest, all the, when it changes. and mm-hmm. so, so, I mean, wh- when are you uh, planning on heading out to Perth? Um, so, we're going end of April, so, like, two, two weeks we'll be out there all together. Okay. It's um, a long flight, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's like a 20-hour flight. Um, have you already, have your team already scoped out, like, uh, where you're going to spend... Like you got like a, a training camp out there for the last couple of weeks that you've already arranged. Do you know what to? Expect? Yeah, it's uh, it's quite funny because I know a guy that um I used to spy with his son years ago, and they've immigrated to Perth. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, we've. 
reunion and stuff. So that's already organised. I know when you won the world title, obviously you went to Dubai about the time your manager Lee, he was well connected in Dubai to make sure things went smoothly. But essentially this will be your first time going sort of really, you know, away from home where yeah. you know, often the home <laughs> the home side can try and pull all sorts of tricks, you know, put you in a dodgy <laughs> hotel and keep you up all night and feed you dodgy food or, or whatever. So it will be... Yeah, I think, it, <laughs> I think, yeah, we're going to the Lions then, but obviously Lude Bella promotes us both. So mm -hmm. in that respect, I'm not going I'm into her hut, just her home promoter, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, he does promote us both, so yeah, he'll treat us very fairly. How much of an entourage are you taking? Um, so there's me and three others. Wow, just three of you. So uh, yeah, I guess just Kevin and the cornerman. Uh, Kevin, um, Coach G, um, and my strength and conditioning coach. Okay, so just. <laughs> So it's going to be a, a little bit lonely out there. <laughs> well, it'll be right. I mean, to be fair, when we went to Dubai, there was only a, a couple of us. Um, so I, it doesn't faze me travelling abroad. So I travel to, to Dubai to win my world title and I'm going to travel to Australia to defend my world title. Looking yeah. forward to it, to be honest. It's quite a nice, nice little trip away. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad trip to, to have... Uh... I'm guessing you won't have time after the fight to do any sightseeing. No, I'm flying home next day. <laughs> right. Right, Maybe on my best day. <laughs> the things you, you guys and girls have to go through. All right, well, it's, uh, it's a really exciting uh, new phase of your career. Um, yeah, really glad for you. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's, what, just uh, just under a month before you head out. Uh yeah, I think I don't know, I think it's six weeks till we go. Yeah, so. Oh so, yeah, it's come round really quickly. Like we've obviously known about this fight for quite a long time. Um, I think it was like we had like fourteen weeks when we first knew about this fight. It's just just come round so quickly now. I think oh, we're flying out in six weeks. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be a hell of a show, of course. Uh, Kambosis uh, is headlining against Lomachenko, so not yeah, a massive bad card. card to be on. Not a bad card and not a bad venue, so. Glad you finally got that back on track after after that frustrating year, as we said. All right, Nina. Yeah. Great catching up with you. Um, good luck, of course, for, for the big trip down under. And <laughs> Thanks. We hope to see you in many big fights this year. Hopefully, right back here in England with, with the, more of the titles. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for your time, Nina. We'll see you soon.